o'clock for the weekend. I'm meeting a friend and we're going to go walking and I'm camping at a pub called the Duke William. Uh, they've got a field at the back and there's room in the back of the car park um, for hard standing. It's very hot, sun's not out but um, it's very humid, sweat is absolutely dripping off me. So I'll see you when we get there. So we've arrived, that's the pub, and this is my spot I've uh, decided for hod standing just in case it rains. If I want an electric hook up, I could have got on the field down this side, but non-electric hook up's down the hill, and if it rains I'll not get this van back up. I'll go and show you. There are the electric hook ups, and same on that side. So non-electric, I'd have to be down the bottom. So the solar panel is fixed to the bonnet, and the sun's up there, so I'm hoping it's getting some, it's at least getting some on this side. The sun will be coming round a bit later on though, so it should get some. My batteries are fully charged at the minute, but I've just put the cool box on to cool the drinks down. Buttered sandwich time! There is the tuna, the cheese is just going on. Mayonnaise. A small Vita man with the ridge monkey and little stove. So I'll sort that out and the sun has suddenly come out. I'm going to be coasting in a bit. There goes my sandwich and then we'll just switch the Vita man on and get cooking. So that's running at 406 watts. Sorry if I don't knock this over, get your nose away, hot. We've got this on two. It goes up to well, it goes up to four. So I might uh, keep it at three for a bit. Oops, uh, you couldn't see that. So it goes quite on three, and it goes all the way up to four. So I can feel the heat off it already. We're going to have a walk into Matlock now from the pub and have a wander around and see what we can see. Me and Freya just going to have a look at the church. It's a nice old church this is. I thought we'd just have a little wander around on his way down into Matlock. Quite partial to a church, I am. Being a retired wedding photographer. I've been to lots of churches and there's some really nice uh, architecture around. I've seen like a little tomby thing over here. I don't know whether I can get to it. I don't like to walk across graves and things. It's behind me. I'm going to go over there and have a look. There we are. I'm going to go a bit closer, see if we can get a bit closer to that and see what it says on it. Oh, 1880 something. Seen some 1830 something in this graveyard. Can't hardly read that one now. There you can see Ryber Castle on top of the hill in the distance. As we go out the other exit to the church, this, this one seems to have two gates. And you walk around in you know, like a semicircle. But that's Ryber at the top there. Zoomed in a bit, I hope it's clear. The trouble is with going on your phone and you're zooming in, you don't always get a clear video. little train for the kids to have rides on. 
Oops. Dre has decided to stop for something. All the ducks. Floating pond. Floating lake. Well, it's not really a lake, it's more of a pond. All the ducks. Right? No, you're first. not interested in the ducks. Have a nice little walk in the park. This is my mum's favourite park. She loves it here. A new path in here since the last time I came. Looks quite different. The rose arbors are still there, still the same with the roses over the seats. But the floor is lighter, so I think they've had a new paths. It's very pretty. Yeah, that's the one that me and my mum sat under. Got more roses on it though. I think the roses must be about finished. The nice, it was lovely and red. Still one or two up there. Looks like they're doing a bit of alterations to uh, the river. See some works down there. Running a bit fast. Tree in the middle of it. Pig's ear. She's got a bed out there. She wants it. Hey, you happy or do you want to come in here and lay down? I moved you into the van in the shade and put a fan on you. Hey, you happy now? You're going to be in my way for cooking though. So I'm trying to keep out the sun. So I've decided to cook in here. I've got a fan cooling that end down for bedtime. We've got a fan on Freya. And then we're going to cook. So we probably are going to cook. It's going to be red hot in here. We're going to have this street kitchen from Aldi. It's Malaysian peanut um, satay. So there are all the sauces and stuff and garlic and peanuts and all that lot. Onion, peppers. I think I've got to get some vegetables out of the fridge. And chicken. We have the rice cooker ready for the rice. We've got some jasmine rice there, sort that out. And we've got the slow cooker fryer type thing, all in one pot, whatever you want to call it, ready to go for the chicken and then the sauce. My diced chicken and diced onions and peppers. Now I've got to put this garlic and ginger puree into my chicken and leave it to stand then i think i've got to find some vegetables so now i've got to kind of mix this up and get it all can't do it one-handed can i but anyway mix that up and then i'll come back and get some oil in the bottom of there and then we switch it on and then we will chuck in the onions and the peppers when it's hot wait for it to get a bit hot and i can switch it up full coming off that on full wow that's hot you can hear that frying already find something to stir it up with quick i think i better turn this down Steam. We're going to fry this until the chicken's sealed on both sides and then we're going to put some vegetables in and the sauce and leave on a low heat for about 20 minutes. So I've browned the chicken and now the vegetables have gone in and the sauce will be going next. Whoa steamy. 
Well, that was a bit steamy. Turned it down, put the lid on, and leave for 20 minutes. About to go and set a timer. Well, it's all done. I've made far too much. I'm not used to cooking for one. This is mine with the rice underneath. So I'll have to save that for uh, later. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Keep it quiet.